Pope Benedict XVI has surprised the entire world and will resign at the end of this month. Benedict said in his statement, In today's world, subject to so many rapid changes and shaken by questions of deep relevance for the life of faith, in order to govern the bark of St. Peter and proclaim the gospel, both strength of mind and body are necessary, strength which, in the last few months, has deteriorated in me to the extent that I have had to recognize my incapacity to adequately fulfill the ministry entrusted to me. For this reason, and well aware of the seriousness of this fact, with full freedom, I declare that I renounce the ministry of Bishop of Rome, successor of St. Peter. Pope Benedict was the 265th pope ever. He was the first German pope in over half a millennium, and the first pope to resign his post in over six centuries. Although when he was appointed at 78 years old, it was clear that he wasn't going to serve a real long time. Now, Benedict, in my opinion, deserves a lot of praise for this decision. It was a courageous one and not an easy one to make, especially when you see leaders around the world clinging to power as much as they possibly can. And the Catholic Church is pretty much the biggest organization in the world today. So this is a sign of progress from somebody that a lot of critics were afraid and accused of being too conservative coming into the papacy and was too conservative while he was there. But he joined Twitter, which some people may not think is a big deal, but he was the first pope to ever do that. And he also was the first pope to acknowledge and apologize for the abuse of young people within the church. And he actually met with victims' families, which again was a first. Pope Benedict will serve until the end of February, and starting on March 1st, you'll have the Conclave, where the College of Cardinals meet in the Vatican with thousands of people gathered down below waiting for their announcements. They release the different colors of smoke to indicate whether they've made their decision or not, and then the new Pope comes out onto the balcony for that historic moment. And so now the speculation will get ramped up. Who is the next Pope going to be? Where in the world should they come from? We haven't had a Pope come from the Americas, and considering the fact that the majority of Catholics now are in North and South America, whether they're in Mexico, the United States, or Brazil. It makes sense to me that the next Pope should come from the place where most of your worshipers come from. Let me know if you agree with me that the next Pope should come from the Americas, and if not, where in the world do you think the next Pope should come from? And as always, thanks for watching.